okay let's begin hi everyone uh, today i'm going to talk about the uh, how to do the debugging uh, uh, the vs code for the uh, apex codes of the salesforce and uh, so the uh, so all all of you might be uh, aware of, aware and known about the advantages of uh, the debugging thing uh, with the debugging we can achieve with the we can we can get to know about the uh, method calling uh, hierarchy and method calling stacks and we are also uh, 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 are, we are also able to see the uh, number of uh, records and the data folded by the variables at the runtime in the apex code right so uh, let's begin so first of all i, I am going to uh, log in into my uh, production my developer org so here is the login.salesforce and i'm using uh, my personal developer org to check the uh, debugging thing and okay now before that uh, i would like to uh, give some brief about the uh, vs code so vs code is a editor and it's a, a, a good editor tool uh, okay from the microsoft side so basically you, it's a freeware and you can go and download the vs code from the uh, from any of the uh, online online platform tool okay and uh, uh, so uh, uh, now uh, after that you will have to do the code setup you will have to do the checkout and you will have to uh, authorize your organization okay and after that uh, then and only you will be able to uh, do the debugging here basically okay and if you don't know how to use the vs code and how to do the authorization and how to set up the uh, base project base project and base workspace then i will put a link within a description you will just go through that particular tutorial and uh, you will be able to do the set initial setups of the vs code okay now okay now let's me switch back to my uh, original piece now uh, so basically this is uh, uh, my uh, developer org and uh, uh, let me go to the developer console and uh, see here uh, basically now let me uh, just give you uh, a basic and uh, brief of the basics of the code what i am going to actually uh, debug here okay so basically i am having the uh, trigger written over here just it's just a simple trigger and it is trigger and this trigger is on the account object and this is getting triggered before insert on before update and on after insert okay now within the after after insert and after update i just basically i just executed my uh, child class okay and within the child class i am just calling my account uh, contact method okay now let me quickly show you the account processor uh, child class as well okay so it's uh, uh, account processor child class now within this class i have the simply simply called i have the feature method and uh, this is a count method and this is this is taking the uh, record ID, list of record id as a parameter okay and updating the uh, list of accounts basically okay so this is just a code and you don't need to worry about the logic that what i have written over here i just wanted to uh, show you the uh, debugging part into the vs code okay now uh, let's begin now let me go to the vs code again and uh, <clears throat> see so now that uh, i have the uh, uh, i i have the account processor class and i have the test class written over here now let me open the uh, trigger as well now i will press the control p and i will just do the dot sorry asterisk dot trigger so basically it is uh, displaying all of the uh, list of classes which is getting ended with the dot trigger so my class is basically account address trigger dot trigger now i will be opening this particular class 
and uh, so within this particular class uh, i will have to uh, put the uh, debugger and just simply go to the line and click on this particular uh, 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 this particular bar vertical bar okay now you will be able to see the red dot which means you have added a breakpoint over here okay now if you wanted to add the multiple breakpoints you can do in the same way like if i wanted to add the uh, breakpoint over here so over here okay so you can add and remove these particular breakpoints as well okay and uh, okay now let me uh, go to the child class as well now this is the account processor class i will press ctrl p and open this particular child class and within this particular class i will be adding one more breakpoint at the line number five okay now okay now let me go to the test class and within this within basically in this particular test class what i am going to do i'm just going to trigger my uh, uh, existing trigger okay so that the execution control will go over here and it will break the uh, uh, break the line where i have provided the uh, breakpoint okay now uh, within this particular test class i am just uh, inserting the uh, account okay and uh, inserting the account and if you see my uh, trigger now okay so if you see the trigger is it this particular class is getting called on the after insert on the after context and the after insert and the after update so when i insert the new account from the test class the execution control will definitely going to come here okay so like this way we will have to build our thought process okay uh, in order to identify where you will have to add the breakpoint basically okay now what i'm going to do that uh, okay now basically uh, i will just go here and basically i will click on the uh, renault test okay now the moment you do the renault test uh, uh, the uh, you can able to see the test class is getting executed over here now just wait for okay now here it comes okay so your test class is successfully uh, uh, executed and it got success okay now now the next thing is that you are able to see the log generated over here okay with that particular test class now you will have to simply download this particular log and once the uh, log got downloaded you will have to go to the uh, vs code back again and just click on this particular debug icon okay so this is this is basically a debug icon and once you click over here you will have to click on the uh, run and debug okay so you will have to basically start the debugging over here okay now when you click over the uh, debug button there uh, a window will uh, comes up over here and you will have to uh, select your downloaded log and you will have to click on open now okay so here is one more setting you will have to uh, do before downloading the log so if you see the error message here so the log must be generated with the log category apex code at the finest level and the visual code at the final level okay now question is that how to do this thing okay now as of now i'm just terminating the uh, current execution here by clicking on the cancel button now i will again go to the uh, developer console and i will go to the uh, debug i will choose the change the log level so as of now uh, i didn't uh, create set up to uh, any user specific log okay so uh, when i say the user specific log if you want a specific log so if you wanted to trace any uh, specific user's activity you will have to go to the debug log inside the salesforce org and you will have to uh, trace that particular user so whenever that particular user will perform any activity the use the log will be generated uh, in context of that particular user okay so right now what i'm not going to do that i will just uh, do uh, uh, if you want just put me a comment 
inside this particular comment box then i will upload the another uh, uh, another video tutorial to uh, uh, to uh, trace the user uh, particular user activity uh, log okay so as of now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, update the uh, default uh, which is a general one and i will click on the add and change link and if you see the apex is already uh, set to the finest level now i will have to update the uh, uh, level of the visual force page as well so i will click on the info I will click on the drop down. I will click on the finer. Okay, so uh, uh, so now Visual Force page is set to the final level uh, as well. Okay, now I will click on the done button in order to save this particular setting. I will click on the done button right here again. Okay, now I will again go back to the uh, uh, VS Code and uh, do the run all test again. So the good thing with the VS Code that uh, you can uh, run the specific test method by simply uh, choosing the uh, run test form over here. So it will, rather than executing the entire test method listed over uh, in this particular test class, it will just simply execute this particular uh, uh, test method. Okay. You can also do the same thing by using the Drupal console, uh, but it will be a little bit uh, uh, such kind of a thing i mean you will have to uh, do the uh, multiple cl uh, clicks that's the reason so it's a very user friendly using vs code is a very user friendly thing and it's a very easier thing okay. now uh, our test class got uh, uh, successfully executed and uh, i will again download my latest log from here okay now see the log is uh, downloaded okay now i will again uh, go to the Switch back to the uh, VS Code, and I will again have to do the same thing. Now, first of all, I will have to click on this particular uh, debug icon, okay, and then I will have to uh, click on the start debugging uh, button, okay. When I click that, it will ask you to the uh, upload the log. So this is the latest log. I will click on open. See, here it's go, okay. So now uh, you will have to click on this particular play icon. Now see, I just uh, uh, added the debug point at the line number five on this particular class. So now the uh, execution comes up here and uh, you can click on the F10 to uh, move forward. And if you wanted to go on the detail of that particular method, you will have to click on the function uh, 11 that is a f11 button okay now i also wanted to show you the uh, one more important thing like if you click on the uh, if you go and do the mouse over of any of the variable let's say i wanted to check the what the record id is getting passed when this particular method comes uh, under the execution okay so if you see that uh, uh, there are the three record ids over here okay so the three record id coming because of c if you go to the test class i am basically inserting the three account record from here okay and from the trigger i am just uh, passing the uh, inserted account id okay so this is the inserted account id which is getting inserted and these are the id you can see from here okay now, if you uh, wanted to uh, basically copy and paste, if you wanted to basically manipulate the record ID, you can do the same thing from here itself. Okay, now let me do this thing. I will just uh, right click, right click on that particular uh, variable. I will click on the add to watch. I will basically see that. To Okay, so okay, so if you see here, so you can basically see the IDs from here. Okay, now you can see the number of account. Uh, I mean, uh, the ID of the uh, current account which is getting processed from here. Okay, you can see all of the uh, static uh, variables. You can see all of the static, uh, uh, sorry, global attributes over here as well. Okay, now. 
you can uh, you can see you can expose the options available from here right so okay now uh, this is this is one thing you can add it into a watch okay and uh, you can also see the call stack okay so basically what what is uh, what it is displaying over here is it is basically saying that uh, the account processor test class got executed and this this particular uh, this particular test class uh, this this is the particular uh, test method and after this particular test method the uh, uh, account processor dot count contact method is got executed okay now yeah so that's all i mean uh, so uh, when you click on the f10 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 it will comes out from the execution see the loop is getting executed twice and uh, so yeah so now the execution is got successful and uh, you are able to see you are able to uh, see all of the uh, execution stacks from here okay yeah so that's all from my side so if you guys have uh, 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 if you please try to uh, execute this thing from your end and if you see any kind of a problem any kind of a, a blocker then just post your uh, uh, questions inside the comment and i will be responding to those answers very quickly okay thanks thanks everyone bye